If you or someone you care about ever broke a bone, you know x-rays can be really useful. But if you think of x-rays just to look at broken bones, it is like thinking of light just to throw shadows. But we know light can do so much more than just throwing shadows. And the same is true for x-rays. We can find out what atoms a material is made of and how these atoms arrange. For example, the structure of DNA was discovered using x-ray diffraction. But what is diffraction? You might remember it from your physics class. When you point a laser onto a fine grating, you can see light points on the wall. The smaller your grating distance, the distance between two lines, the further apart are the light points on the wall, or the diffraction peaks. We can now look at the grating using a microscope, and you can barely see the slightly darker areas, which are the grating lines. Now we want to look at how atoms are arranged in a material. Many of them build small repeating units, like this one. And if they do, we can measure the distance between atoms using diffraction, just like we use diffraction for our grating. I will approximate one of these small repeating units with a Lego block. When we grow new materials, these Lego blocks will build planes and three-dimensional structures. If we use two different materials and repeat them periodically, like three layers of one material, one layer of the other, we will build a superstructure. This is like a super grating, or how we call it, a super lattice. That is what my research work is on. Here we can watch one of these super lattices grow layer by layer and see how the diffraction peaks evolve with time. The brightest peak is coming from the distance between the atoms. The other two peaks come from the super lattice, which is eight times the size of the smallest repeating cell. We've come a long way from watching our bones using x-rays to looking at atoms, how they arrange while we grow new materials. This by itself is really exciting. But we can use this to grow these materials better and improve their functional properties. And maybe we can use it to find the next generation of solar cells or a material for a processor which is smaller, faster, or more efficient.